everyone, it's me, Excanadensis, and today I have two boxes containing my scenes. They're not boxes, they're packages. Anyway, um, I actually got this one on Saturday, so I've had to wait two whole days to get her out of the box because I wanted to do a joint video, and I'm super excited because these two, um, one of them's just a set that I really wanted to collect and I didn't think would be possible, so I'm really stoked. I spent a lot on this doll, though. Just go check Mercari's sold listings, you'll see. And then this one is one that goes to a set that I'm trying to collect, so I'm excited to have another one. Um, so I'm gonna open her first just because she arrived here first. And to be honest, I'm sorry, I'm more excited about the other one that's in the, the more fun package, too. All right, I don't know how to open this without hurting her because I don't know where she is exactly. So we're just gonna... Like, I want to just use the scissors, but I'm scared. Because <laughs> I've done it before where I just earnestly cut into a box and then destroy something. <laughs> That video's gone now, but it was a, um, it was a limited edition dolls box. I thought, there's no way the seller would just put the box right at the top, so if I cut with scissors on the tape line, it would leave a giant gouge, but it did. It wasn't Disney, though, so y'all can't be mad. Disney collectors are the only ones that are completely insane like that. Anyway, let's go! She is so well wrapped. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not really suitable to mail a doll in one of these. I get why people do it if they're not doll collectors especially, but... If they could be like snapped in half or something, but if you wrap them like this, it's totally fine. All right, so in this bag we have, I, I love how I act like it's a mystery when it's in the thumbnail. Anyway, in this bag we have Juicy Blaine Kennedy. Oh my God. Oh. Wow, okay, so I actually got her for $35, I think, on a bid. I usually won't bid because let me know if you feel the same way, but bidding almost feels like gambling. So when I bid, well, like, it gives you the same rush as gambling. It gives you those endorphins as you're bidding, your heart's racing, you're really excited. To me, bidding makes me spend more. I don't spend less. I spend more than I would have otherwise. So I, I haven't bid on things in, like, years. I'll, I'll do it occasionally if I see something that I want. But overall, I don't do it. But recently, I've been doing it more, and I've been getting good deals. So I think I'm going to start doing that again. Um... Or at least looking into doing it again. And so I got Juicy Bling, Barbie or Kennedy. And as you guys know, one of the first... or Yeah, the first Mycene doll I bought when I decided to start collecting them. Like, in January maybe? Was Juicy Bling Chelsea. And Juicy Bling Chelsea is actually one of my favorite Mycene dolls still to this day. I absolutely love her. And I actually did not... I was buying this doll mainly to complete the set, to be honest, and I do do that, and I do enjoy dolls when they're just to complete a set, like, don't get me wrong, but I, she, this doll wasn't super on my radar. I really wanted Madison or Noli and or Noli. They have the same outfit. Um, but wow. <laughs> the pink color is, it's, it's looking very pink on camera, too. It's much purpler. It's really pretty, and the makeup matches it really well. So, like, holding her in my hands and feeling her and stuff, I'm definitely a lot more hyped for her than I was, and she's amazing. Oh my gosh. The hair especially. I can't wait to like condition this. I'm not gonna boil it or anything obviously because it's still box hair. It's like perfect box hair. I mean like factory styled. So I'm just gonna condition it and she still has her earrings and stuff. I'm really happy with her. She's beautiful. I love when you can just tell the seller unbox the doll because the box was destroyed. Because you can get more for a complete out of box doll than you can for an inbox doll a lot of the times. Especially with my scene. Winks too. It's so strange. All right I got a note that says Brooke I hope you love this Kennedy doll, thanks. And I think the name is Bart, and I like this little sticky note. It's a cat. It's a raccoon, <laughs> I can't see. All right, so here's her little bottle. I actually didn't unbox um, Chelsea's accessories, if you remember, and that's just because the box is so perfect, so I carefully took her out, and then if I wanna put her back in, or if I wanna display the box, I still can. So I haven't gotten to play with any of her accessories yet, and now I can, so here's like, I don't know, I imagine maybe it's like sunscreen or some kind of like tanning lotion because this is kind of a... It's not a tropical line at all. I, I, I get that impression though, but there is a line literally called Tropical Bling. Anyway, here's the hair jewels, which they have like Velcro. I actually had some of these when I was a kid that you could put in your hair, they're so fun. But I never wear them because they just fall out, so you lose them forever. Um, here's her little hair pick because she has curled Kanekalon hair, so that's really nice. Here's the dry rotted rubber band. See that? <laughs> her purse, which I don't actually think I have one. Maybe I do. I think maybe Alana sent me one in this shape, but I like this shape. I'm not gonna break this one. Sorry if that made anybody cringe. It's just a rubber band. Nice little purse. Here is what I, oh, her sunglasses, great. I was worried about that actually because they weren't on her head, but 
no problem. And her cell phone. It's a flip phone. My first phone looked an awful lot like this. It was purple. It was reflective. I can't remember the name anymore. It was a Motorola. It was purple. I still have it. Man, I used to know the whole name of it, but now I don't. Um, I know my second phone was a Droid Razor X. No, that was my third phone. Anyway. How old are you? Did you have a flip phone first or an iPhone first? Um, this is really cute, though. I wish it wasn't so loose, though. I don't know if that's a fluke or not, but, like, if you were trying to take pictures, this would be so annoying. Super cute, though. I love that the buttons are actually painted. Barbie would never do that today. Barbie would never be caught dead doing something cute and, like, really nice like that ever again. All right, and then here's the little bedazzler. I'm not really sure how this would work. If you guys want to see, like, a review video on this doll and Chelsea without me in it, it would just be, like, showing the dolls with, like, a nice voiceover. It would be scripted and better lighting, nice photography, and I could demonstrate this. Let me know. I've been wanting to do doll reviews of the dolls I already have because I... Venture to guess I have at least 1,500 dolls, so I have endless content and endless fun videos I could do where it's just doing really pretty photography of all the dolls. In the same way that A Thousand Splendid Dolls, on Fli like their Flickr specifically, they do these really nice reviews, and even if their doll isn't complete, they, they tell the story about how they got the dolls. I'm saying they because there's two of them. They'll tell the stories about how they got the dolls, and the thing that's special about them, and the thing they like the most, and show all the accessories that they do have, tell about the ones that they don't. I just think that would be interesting and fun, um, and I used to do doll reviews more, but now I kind of don't. I only do doll reviews if I'm opening the doll, because I just really love opening the dolls. It's so fun. Anyway, here's this package, which is so fun and shiny. Um, this will be fun to reuse. I'll have to use it for somebody special if I mail something. If I mail something to, like, Serena again or something. <laughs> so cute. I've been wanting to, like, get better, um packaging like this for when I mail things to people but like right now mine are just um like the most basic one you can buy at Walmart but if people don't reuse it this has more of a f ecological footprint than like a manila craft paper would you know um I'm going to reuse this and I'm sure I would hope the next person that gets it would but I don't think everybody does anyway this oh my god I'm so excited about this doll but I'm so impressed by her maybe she's gonna end up being the favorite that would be really surprising actually all right so package is empty there's just bubble wrap that was there to buffer I appreciate that because again if you're gonna package something in bubble like in a bubble mailer you really gotta like make sure it does not bend and they did a pretty good job of that. All right, so let's get her out of here. Both of these sellers did a stellar job wrapping these dolls. All right. I'm so excited. Hold on, I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay, I already know what the doll is and what she looks like, but whatever, it's still cute and fun. Okay. Oh my God, they're so soft. I'm so excited. Okay. It's Juicy Bling Bikini Chelsea. Interesting. Her face looks so much like my Juicy Bling. Um... My other Juicy Bling Chelsea. Is it Tropical Bling Bikini? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. It's either Juicy or Tropical Bling Bikini. There's so many lines that have the exact same name almost that I just get really confused. Oh, but she's so beautiful. I wonder if these are her shoes or not because they don't look as like, they're, they don't have any shiny bits, but they probably are. Um, so she doesn't look as glam as she can and it's because she's wearing her second outfit or like her little cover up top. It's not a second outfit. She comes with like a cover up top and sarong. I heard somebody pronounce that differently the other day, so now I'm second-guessing myself, but I don't remember what they said, so if you know, or if I'm pronouncing that wrong, just know I've only read it. My mom texted me at once when I got the bonus for the American Girl Leah doll, and I never have heard it since. I've never heard it, actually, except that one time the other day, so I'm a little bit worried that I'm pronouncing it wrong, but... That's okay. All right, and then how do you get her sarong off? Is it tied? It looks almost like it's sewn into being tied, sorry. Hold on. I don't know, guys, ah! Anyway, she's like really pretty. I just wanna see like her bikini in all of its glory, you know? It's not even a bikini. I love that, maybe I'm wrong about what a bikini is, but isn't a bikini a two-piece? I can't get it off. I'm confused. I'm so embarrassed. It's a snap. It is a fake tie. I was like, but there's no Velcro. Okay. So it was a snap. And then there's also this belt that you just have to pop off. Oh, it's factory tied down. Okay, so never mind. We're not going to take it off. 
it's it's got its factory ties see that's what's so interesting about these dolls like i'll get them well this one was not a good deal sorry this doll was not a good deal this was one of the ones i splurged on <laughs> still a good deal objectively i guess especially compared to like what other people would probably pay for this specific doll but me spending like 60 dollars on a singular doll is absolutely ludicrous <laughs> Anyway, she is beautiful. I love this color of bikini, although I don't think the the light icy blue suits her as well. I do like this color, and also her makeup has the green because it's just the Juicy Bling Dolls makeup, I think. Um, so it kind of doesn't match, but she's absolutely beautiful. Don't, don't get me wrong. I love that she... I just love the Bling Bling Dolls because I think dolls that have jewelry just really like rise above the others because jewelry and dolls is pretty rare actually and again i don't mean rare as in like it's expensive and you should want it but like rare as in they don't do it a lot um and when they do it really stands out especially when they do this like metallic finish stuff that i love so much because ooh, monster high they all had jewelry but it was all some like technicolor plastic and it was in the aesthetic of monster high i'm not docking them for it but like they're not versatile pieces often that you can use for like multiple dolls um versus stuff like this is like infinitely valuable as a doll collector you can use it for so many things valuable in the um metaphorical sense not the literal sense um and she has some really pretty like blonde streaks in her hair she's a pretty chelsea doll although my expectations ex were changed i thought she was going to be my like best my scene doll my favorite one i was so excited but i think kennedy or Ch or barbie again i don't know i'm just to me she's barbie i know it's her cousin or something but i'm just gonna call her barbie or kennedy just just let me do it okay let me be wrong if i'm wrong um Anyway, um, I think Barbie, her color scheme is much more coherent and matches a lot nicer. And I absolutely love the this outfit so much. I think it's beautiful. But I think it would look better on another girl. So maybe if I get another one of these bling bikini dolls, I can, like, trade them around. I think this would look absolutely breathtaking on Noli. Although, Noli looks better with, like, the darker blue, like her bling. I mean, maybe I would be able to say that with more conviction if I had her. She was one of my childhood dolls. I need to get her back. Anyways. Oh, I love doing that. Um, they are beautiful. I'm so happy about them. And I got two bling bling dolls in one day. I love them. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And let me know um, what your favorite my scene line is, I guess. I don't know if I have a favorite line just yet. I think it might be juicy bling, though, now that I have two of them. And they're amazing. And there's only really one more. There is a Noli and a Madison, but they are wearing the same outfit. Last time I said, I completed this line, Rebel Style, I think. I, I have three of them. Someone was like, you don't have Noli, but it's like, Noli is wearing the same thing as Madison. I don't need the Noli doll. If I find her, that'd be great, but like, it's, it's not that serious to me. Um, anyway. Um, I'm closer to completing this line now. I only need one more or two, but one in my, in my, um words in my worldview in my collection i only really need one of them to be completely satisfied um i think juicy bling might be my favorite i just didn't think i liked barbie from the pictures online i just kind of was like eh, pink dress next but she looks really good god chelsea looks so good look at her i really like this swimsuit it's adorable i just i think this color is so vibrant and like it pops really and then there's this like really light icy cooler blue and it kind of doesn't match exactly and then you have this teal here i don't know i still love her i just have some some critiques a little bit anyway that's it thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time bye